guys you welcome back to my channel deeper this corner this is a channel that is committed and devoted to give you the very best to make you satisfied with the news gist that are going around so this is the right place for you to be deeper this corner i welcome you if it's your first time ah uh, as i usually request and ask please consider to subscribe to this channel and the uh, press notification bell then to all my amazing new and returning subscribers thank you so much for your support thank you for always coming by to watch my video i appreciate you for giving your time to watch my video thank you very much please give me thumbs up share the video as much as you can so that others can also benefit from what you are benefiting from this channel thank you so very much for doing that now let's go into the gist for the moment Femi Falana calls for Amy Felix transfer to EFCC custody what am I talking about I'm saying again that Femi Falana has requested Amy Felix transfer to EFCC custody Falana said that the department of state services should transfer God will be feeling to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for deeper investigation. Emifile, you will recall, has been suspended by President Bola Tinobu on, and he has been under the DSS radar for possible terrorism financing since 2022. Okay, this part earlier attempt to obtain an arrest warrant a federal high court denied the application for lack of evidence. Consequently, a court in the federal capital territory issued an order protecting him freely from arrest by the DSS. In a statement released Sunday, Fallon advised the ADSS against the risk of bungling the case due to legal technicalities. The senior advocate pointed out that DSS does not possess the authority to investigate and prosecute him freely for accusation of money laundering and other financial crimes. He said, it may fail to in turn be handed over to an agency with the constitutional power to investigate such a case. You know, referring to the EFCC. Hear what Felana said. A few months ago, the state security services labeled grave allegation of terrorism, financing, money laundering and all the economic crimes against the against Mr. Emefide, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. At the material time, the attempt by the SSS to arrest, investigate and prosecute Emefide was frustrated by the at well Buhari administration fallen a road. Already following the suspension of Mr. Emefide as governor of SCBN by President Polatinobu, the SSS quizzed him in Lagos and flew him to Abuja yesterday. According to media reports, the investigation of the suspect by the SSS has commenced, even though the SS, which initially denied the arrest, has since turned around to admit that Mr. Emefele is in his custody, where there are a lot of uh, legal implications an application that need to be put in place and put right if this uh, investigation will be followed through and through. Okay, now, the main issue is this. Falana has requested that, I requested that the uh, Emi village should be transferred to EFCC because they are the body that have legal right to prosecute to investigate the activity of a feeling okay i want you people to my friends to come up and uh, please let me know your take concerning the issue of the the could i call it no it's on in suspension susp susp now so i may not be right to call him the former governor of uh, central bank of nigeria but it's the suspended governor mr godwin emefili is under 
thorough investigation because of my practices, because of financial financial means that she he put the whole of nation of the nation, he put the whole of Nigeria and Nigerians into the hardship that people went through, you know, because of the decisions and indecisions this man made when he was in charge of Central Bank of Nigeria. Well, I sincerely believe that uh, the right thing has to be done. The right thing has to be done. The local process has to be put in place and uh, follow through. So, what do you have to say to, to this? Is Fenny Falana, is it right or is it justified to ask for a may fail to be transferred to EFCC for thorough investigation? Let me have your opinion concerning this. I'll be so glad if you can let me know what you have to say to it. What I'm only after is that the nation Nigeria needs to be sanitized. We need total overhauling of people in authority that are siphoning the nation. We need total overhauling of people that are truncating the progress of the nation Nigeria. Nigerians must be able to live freely, must be able to live happily, must be able to live without any economic crunch. Let the nation Nigeria take a new leaf. That's all I am after. That's what I believe. So what do you have to say, friends, concerning this? I'd like to have your opinion. Your opinion is very important. Please, let me have it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. But before I go, let me remind you again, if you have not uh, subscribed to this channel, this is the opportunity for you, friends. Please consider to subscribe to the channel. And I greet all of you, my wonderful friends. You know, my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. So till I come your way next time with another video, take good care of yourself. Be the best Nigerian you can. As I say to you, bye. Bye.